Hello folks, back in 2023, this is M. Dearest, you're watching the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and on Facebook, brought to you by the M. Dearest Bluegrass Productions, one of the finest media companies all around the world, Bluegrass Music, and here's the M. Dearest Bluegrass Talk Show on YouTube and Facebook. Stay tuned for the interviews. Hello folks, this is Evan Derrison of the Evan Derrison Bluegrass Talk Show, which is brought to you by the Evan Derrison Bluegrass Productions, one of the finest media companies all around the world, Bluegrass Music. And I'm here at the Hills of Home in McClure, Virginia. I am here with Cindy Balcom and um, here's Terry Balcom and Dukes Drive's very own Terry Balcom as well. As well. And this is a treat. You're good to have me, Terry. Yes, it's really good to be with you, Evan. Sure you do is. so much to promote bluegrass, and this is a thrill for us to get to talk to you. Yeah, I'm going to start with you, Terry, if that's okay. And that's okay with both of you. Absolutely. Um, hey, hey, Terry, who's your members in the band with you? Sorry? Who's your members in the band with you? Yeah, the Dukes of Drive. He wants to wants you to talk about the band members. Oh, yeah. Uh, Will Smith, Will Clark. Mine, uh, Will Clark. Uh, Clark uh, Carl and everything. <laughs> I have uh, the, uh, Nick a Nick the guitar player and a good one he is and Joe Hannaback plays bass. And, uh, and you play the five string banjo. Play the five string banjo and we uh, I started getting this band going about ten years ago. Joe joined and then we uh, and the need for a man and a guitar player, so we took the bushes and they fell out and, <laughs> so, and kind of put together and we, uh, we really enjoy playing with each other in yeah. a band-wise situation because it's hard to find people that play like, like you want to hear. You know? That's I'm true. Sure they play their way, but they know me when I kick something off their own me. So, you know, I love that. And, they they understand that. It's why it works out for me. Oh yes, yeah. And you play a Gibson banjo as a mono you made, right? Yeah, I had a little bit to do with it. They they made it as an endorsement. And I I got it probably twenty years ago, maybe a little more. And, uh, they got it put together and they brought it to me, man, it sounded really good. I've been playing it. There for a while, I kind of laid it back. I've got other things I like to play, but I always come back to that one. And how you, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, how do you like being here at the Hills of Home? You know, I don't know if I've ever played this festival or not. I played with Charlie Moore for a long time. You know, on and off several different times. And uh, I can't remember being here, but there again, I, I've never been to see the grade. They, they put that on their way for the floor. I, you know, we have in this interview, so. Yes. And, no, and, and, and you have your own record label entitled Driving Duke Records. That's correct. And let's talk about your latest album was on there. Um, what's the name of the album? Just to be sure that everybody can know. Yeah, here in the country. Here in the country. Yeah, and that title track, uh, Jamie Daly was the co-writer on, and Jamie Daly has never let another band record one of his songs that he wasn't in the band, either Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver or Daly and Vinza. But he said, for Terry Balcom, I want to send him this song because I think it fits the band. And it did song. go to number one on the Bluegrass Today chart. So Jamie was happy about that, and so was the band. But that's the title track of that album, Here in the Country. Here in the Country. And let's, yeah, and I, and I have pretty cool bands in my sleep, but let's talk about Keep Deep in Bluegrass. How'd you guys start in the radio business? Well, you know what? I started in radio because like you, as a young person, loved bluegrass, have a passion for it, and wanted to find a way that I could help promote it. And when I was a teenager, my after-school job <clears throat> was at our local radio station doing a bluegrass show, and uh, I was going to do radio, bluegrass radio, until I figured out my calling in life. 
and here 40 years later I'm still doing bluegrass radio so I guess I found it early but um, in in looking at starting knee-deep in bluegrass uh, it's this is the 20th year of national syndication for knee-deep in bluegrass but when it started I was looking for a theme song and I was looking for a name of the show and Terry had just recently written that instrumental knee-deep in bluegrass that came out on the AccuTab sessions on Rebel Records it got a uh, recorded event of the year in uh, 2001 at the IBMA and I said that's a great theme song and Terry wrote it so Knee Deep in Bluegrass was born 20 years ago and and I really enjoy the opportunity to share the music with the listeners every week oh yes and where they can find Keep Deep in Bluegrass at? you know there's a website kneedeepinbluegrass.com and there's a station finder and hopefully there's a station in their area have over a hundred network affiliates but if people could uh, go to kneedeepinbluegrass.com they can check it out or there's a lot of online sources too web streaming i'm on bluegrass country radio um, every friday and so hopefully uh, people can find a station in their area that carries knee deep in bluegrass oh yes it's all about bluegrass <laughs> oh yes and i do you like being here sydney i have really been looking forward to coming here because of just the history the history of the stanley brothers the history of ralph stanley and the clinch mountain boys and now Ralph II and the Clinch Mountain Boys carrying on that tradition and this festival going on for more than 50 years. And what a great location. And you know, these these hills are alive with great musicians and for people to come together. And you know, it don't matter what differences people have in life, bluegrass brings us together. That's what we've got in common. And when we're out here and all share this love for bluegrass, it's a great place to be. Oh yes. And thanks so much, Terry, and it was a pleasure. And Sydney, it was also a pleasure as well. Evan, it's our pleasure, and thank you for all that you do to promote bluegrass. And, um, you know, keep keep at it, uh, because, you know, we need more people to learn about bluegrass music and listen to it and, and discover they love it as much as we do. Keep it alive and well, man. We, we need young, old, it doesn't matter. You can love bluegrass, and I do, and I know y'all do. Yeah, so folks keep listening to Evan Dickerson. He does a lot for our music, and we really appreciate yes, him. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. And I'm Evan Dickerson from the Evan Dickerson Bluegrass Talk Show. Roger by the Evan Dickerson Bluegrass Productions. Folks, take care. <laughs>